Hey YouTube, Warbles on a lot here. Those of you who've been paying attention will remember that a month ago I had to cut this tree off this gate because this tree fell onto this gate, thereby doing a certain amount of damage to the gate and in fact requiring the replacement of about two feet long two pieces thereof, three inch by one inch Australian hardwood. So I thought it might be an interesting little quirk if we repair the gate with the tree that broke the gate. You broke it, you fix it. So to that end, I've docked about a two and a half foot long billet. I've cut v knocks into my saw blocks. So, now let's set up the sawmill. And there it is, ready to go. 36 inch, 115 tooth Oregon bar on a still 038 Magnum. With what I believe to be a British Rip King guide rail system. The reason I believe it's British Manufactured in the United Kingdom by Saunderson and Coston Limited, Hinchclear, Newbury, Berkshire. Patents applied for, eye protector should be worn while chainsawing. And that is, of course, a Warble Zondalot special hand fabricated aluminium side cover replacement, which works. It's probably done 50 or so hours in place. As you can see, the idea is to enable parallel successive cuts, but in this particular case, I'm going to be opening up the log for a quarter cut milled piece of timber to emerge, so therefore I've got to cut it across the center of the growth rings. It really is a very simple little sawmill that you can cut pretty much anywhere you can drive to. And you can backpack your way in if you want to. These are the tools that you need to mill the log. As you can see, there is a second guide rail there, which fits over that half ring welded into the first guide rail. In order to carry on backwards up along the tree, I have actually made 24 foot long 4x2 purlins by just putting one rail backwards after another.
First cut, done. Not too bad for a short, fat little log, which wasn't exactly straight and it had already begun to crack. And now we turn the half into a quarter or two. We're getting there. Here we go.
There we go. Out of that, I will be able to cut a 3x1 plank, which would be best approximation quarter cut. Right. And now it's time to actually make our rectangular prisms. Final cut on the first two planks. There we go. Two more or less rectangular prisms. Cut with a chainsaw. The last cut on the last prism. Maybe not perfect wood, but cheap wood and homemade. That's the offcuts. There's the other three prisms. And because it's quarter cut milled with the growth rings running from flat side to flat side, large flat side to large flat side, as it shrinks, it'll shrink along the growth rings. The wood should stay rectangular and prismatic so it's actually worth doing and believe me if you're going to spend the best part of a day dragging 5.7 horsepower worth of 115 knives backwards through a tree you don't want the resulting wood to warp or twist or crack or bow or cup or bend really rectangular prisms are great warbles on a lot the youtube ciao